So in this video we will take a look at the settings we have for a new upload field we will create. So I will just click add upload field. In my, I will call my field number two. In the card the name it can be um, uploaded file. And now we can take a look at the settings we can do. So first of all, if you open the labels tab, we will have the opportunity to change the labels. So the labels we see here on the right side can be defined here. And here we will find some in dialog messages. That means if someone will click the button and the upload pop-up will show, these are some texts which can be adjusted as well. We also have the opportunity to make some design adjustments. So here are some basic design adjustments like the introduction title font color, for example, this and the background font color, which is affecting in the button color. But there are also some other opportunities that you can also change button padding, button width, and you can also define here the dialogue language. But usually the default settings should be fine for the color, then it will look exactly like you see it here. Just the in dialogue language can be interesting if you want to have in the pop-up a different language. So we have also two styles, how the, dis how the files should be displayed once uploaded on the product page. Yeah, most people like to have this kind of container, so you can just keep it like it is. So you will click on the other one. You can also define a little bit of the behavior, how many files can be uploaded, a single file, a set of number or unlimited files, what kind of file types you want to accept, any specific or just image files. You can also specify here that your customers should add a text for each uploaded image. You can just put it on here and also define some headings. You can also make the, the file upload required. You can just tick that box. You have the opportunity to offer um, cropping, uh, freely cropping and, uh, and a cropping um, preset aspect with a ratio. You have also different kind of um, um, file editing, which you can allow, right? And also there you have some opportunities, which is related to a minimum image size restriction so that you can define a minimum size of the image or also general file size restrictions to the um, size of the file. Then here you can define from which sources you will allow an upload. Most recommended is local file, but you can also allow more things like Instagram or Google Drive, whatever you like to use. And then here in the last step, the most important settings, the button targeting, so where you can define on which products uh, your button should be displayed. After that, never forget to click the save button and make sure if you want to review it, that you will open it like a regular user. So don't open it through the Wix editor. You have to open it from the www and then enter your domain name and go to your product so that you can recheck if the button shows according to your imagination.